When a surface-to-air missile system locks onto a fighter jet, it emits radio frequency signals that the jet's radar warning receiver can detect. The RWR then alerts the pilot with tones or symbols such as lock detected or missile launch warning. To understand this more clearly, imagine holding a cell phone that can only pick up radio signals. An enemy radar station is like someone using a powerful, focused torchlight to sweep the sky. When that light beam hits your phone, the RWR detects the signal. The RWR can tell the pilot two main things, search mode and lock-on mode of the enemy radar. In search mode, the enemy radar is sweeping the area and momentarily hits your aircraft. This is usually indicated by a short beep and a symbol on the display, meaning an enemy is looking in your general direction. In lock-on mode, the enemy radar stops sweeping and focuses a continuous beam directly on your aircraft to establish a firing solution. This is a critical threat, indicated by a sustained, loud tone or a flashing symbol, meaning, you are locked. A missile is likely on the way. The radar warning receiver is arguably the most crucial system for a fighter jet's survivability. It is the pilot's first and often only line of electronic defense against lethal threats. Since radar waves travel at the speed of light, the pilot gets just a few seconds of warning, but those seconds are priceless. They allow time to initiate evasive maneuvers, deploy countermeasures, and take tactical actions such as alerting wingmen or queuing jamming systems. But what happens if the RWR doesn't alert the pilot? It's simple, the pilot receives zero warning that an enemy aircraft or ground-based missile system is tracking them. They'll only realize they're under attack when they visually spot the missile, and by then, it's often too late. Now, many systems use active radar to track and lock onto fighter jets or missiles, like the Patriot system, Israel's Iron Dome, and India's Akash NG. However, the Akash NG demonstrated a new capability that essentially eliminates RWR warnings for enemy pilots. It successfully intercepted a high-speed Banshee target using only its electro-optical tracking system. The electro-optical systems used by Akash NG is not a missile seeker, it's a ground-mounted tracking unit, a high-precision, stabilized gimbal equipped with a day TV camera, thermal imager for day and night tracking, and a laser rangefinder. This system tracks the target from the ground and feeds continuous positional data to the command guidance computer, which then sends mid-course corrections to the missile via a radio data link. So, instead of the missile seeing the target itself, the electro-optical and tracking systems sees it for the missile. Fighter jets aren't equipped with RWRs alone, because RWRs cannot warn of infrared-seeking missiles that use heat instead of radar waves. For that, jets rely on a missile approach warning system, which detects the missile only after launch by sensing the hot plume from its rocket motor. So, what's the point of adding electro-optical system capability to Akash NG? The primary reason is to defeat anti-radiation missiles. Traditional radar-guided SAMs depend on a ground-based fire control radar to continuously illuminate the target. This constant radar emission acts like a beacon for arms. By using electro-optical system for tracking and missile guidance, the SAM battery can switch off its radar and still engage targets. This makes the Akash NG battery effectively invisible to enemy RWRs and renders arms useless, since there's no radar signal to hum and on. Moreover, modern enemy aircraft, drones, and cruise missiles use powerful jammers to blind radars. With electro-optical tracking system, Akash NG can continue tracking optically, even when radar is jammed. It can engage targets silently and accurately, and operate effectively in GPS-denied or electronic warfare-heavy zones. Unlike radar, which uses radio waves, electro-optical systems uses light, both visible and infrared, similar to a camera or a thermal sensor. And light cannot be jammed the same way as radio frequencies. If the enemy manages to jam the radar, electro-optical tracking system can seamlessly take over tracking and guidance, ensuring the target is still intercepted. This redundancy is crucial for defending high-value targets. It also helps counter lower CS targets that are difficult for radar to detect, especially at long range or a low altitude.
Ballistic or air-launched missiles emit a bright infrared plume during flight, which electro-optical system can lock onto, much like ISRO's optical trackers follow rockets. This makes Akash NG an excellent choice for point defense, capable of protecting bases or strategic assets against crews or tactical ballistic missiles. So, DRDO added this capability not just to defeat radar warning systems on aircraft, but to make Akash NG immune to jamming, effective against stealth, capable of intercepting missiles and fully operational even if its radar is shut down or destroyed.